hi dear friends and welcome back to my channel i'm glad to see you in today's new video so today i'll be trading with the bollinger band indicator i really enjoy using this indicator it's quite useful and quite easy to use so this indicator really helps you to determine the price range and also you're able to see if the price is going to be moving in the opposite direction as you'll be seeing in today's trades so i'll be showing you how to use this indicator to make very good profit on your own and also i'm asking you to join my private chat in telegram channel because from this private chat you can be able to learn more about binary trading you can be able to also use my trading signals and make very good profit on your own so please join there is a link under this video that link is a link to my personal chat remember with the code word money team i'll add it to this private chat and you can join ask your questions learn more about binary trading and use my trading signals and also i'm asking you to support this channel i'm asking you to give this video a thumbs up don't forget to share this video and also don't forget to subscribe down below to my channel so let me get started so i want to show you how to activate this indicator so click this button and choose bollinger band from the list and here i'm going to choose a period of 14 and a deviation of two and now you can see that there are two bands on the chart with one higher than the other one and you can see that the moving average is between them so i want to show you how to interpret the signals of this indicator for example when it's the downtrend the price moves in the lower zone of the indicator display the moving average is the resistance line and price bounces from it and moves down and also when it is the uptrend the moving average will act as a support line and price will be bouncing from it and moving higher and also you can catch moments when the price is impulsively going beyond one of the bands of the indicator hence here you can be able to open a trade in the opposite direction and it's a high chance that there'll be a pullback that will happen very soon so you have to keep in mind that this indicator signal sometimes can give you errors so you need to mainly carry out technical analysis because technical analysis is the basis of any trade so let me find my first entry point for today so here we can see that after the uptrend the price reversed and moves down and it's a very confident move so here i'm going to open a trade up because i can see that it's a trade in the opposite direction and i can see that the green candlestick has already appeared after this a pullback up is most likely to occur so let me wait and see the results of this trade As you can see, a continuation occurred and a slight impulse up and I got the profit and one minute was enough for this. So let me go on. So here we can see that the price impulsively went beyond the indicator zone. So here I can enter the market with an up trade for one minute because it is a trade in the opposite direction. And I think that the price will move up because the general potential is going up. But let me wait and see the results of this trade. So analyzing this profit, when it is the uptrend, we waited for the impulse down to the lower band of the indicator and opened a trade up due to this uptrend. That's why I got the profit from this trade and you also need to consider such movements. So here we can see the very confident pullback down and right now the continuation is occurring and this is the green candlestick. So here I'm going to enter the market with an up trade for one minute because I think that the price will get to the retracement movement and this is the pullback up and you can see that the price goes beyond the indicator zone. The reaction occurred and the price is trending up. But let me wait and see the results of this trade. So analyzing the situation, the price trended up and I got the profit here again. So let me go on. So here we can see that the price went impulsively beyond the indicator zone and this is the support level. So here I'm going to enter the market with an uptrade for one minute because I expect an opposite reaction will be a slight pullback up. But let me wait and see the results of this trade. So 
So analyzing this profit, I can see that despite the fact when opening a trade, there was an impulse up, our entry point was higher than expected. I wanted to open a trade at the support level, but I still got my profit here. So let me go on and find my next entry point. Well, here we can see that this was the very confident breakthrough of the resistance level. And here we can open a trade down because from the upper band, there was the reaction. And after this upward movement, there was the reverse and this is the red candlestick appearing. So let me wait for the results of this trade and see. So analyzing this profit, the price trended down and I got the profit here again. So let me go on. Well, here I can see that this is the resistance level. I can see an impulsive breakthrough of this level and the price went beyond the indicator zone. So here I'm going to enter the market for one minute. And right now you can see that the red candlestick is showing up and the pullback in the opposite direction will cover very soon. But let me wait and see the results. So analyzing this trade, I can see the price go to the correction zone and this was the pullback and I got my profit here again. So let me go on. Well here I can see the inner resistance level and the uptrend. Price approached this level and I can see that right now this is higher band of the indicator. So here I'll enter the market with a downtrade for one minute here because I suppose that the price will get to the correction zone and this will be the pullback down. So let me wait and see the results of the trade. So analyzing this profit, price go to the correction zone and this was the pullback and I got the profit here again. So let me go on. So here we can have the support level on the chart and this was the very confident and steady downtrend. Price approached the level and went beyond it. So here I'm going to open a trade in the opposite direction because a pullback is likely to happen. So here I got very good profit. You can see that now my balance is $5,234. So let me find my last trade for today. So here we can see the resistance level on the chart. And after the pullback, the price approached this level with very impulsive green candlesticks. So let me open a trade down here for one minute and wait for the results of this trade. So this is very interesting. Price got to the correction zone and this was the pullback down and I got a very good profit. So I would like to stop here for today. That was quite awesome. I was able to make very good profit on today's trades. I was able to use this indicator to find very good entry points and I was able to hit my goal for today. You can be able to do it as well. You need to follow all the steps that I did in today's trade but also you have to keep in mind that an indicator is just an auxiliary tool for technical analysis, meaning you need to carry out technical analysis first before using any indicator. So if you have any questions about today's trade or if you have any binary question, if you'd like to comment or if you'd like to suggest a new video, I'm asking you to go under this video. There is a link to my personal chat. Write me with the code word money team. I'll add it to my private chat. You can join and ask your questions. You can also be able to interact with the other members of the group and also use my trading signals to make very good profit. So I'm also asking you to give this video a thumbs up. 
don't forget to share this video don't forget to subscribe down below and also don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can be notified when there's a new video up so thanks so much for watching until next time bye bye